Sad development in the search for a missing teenager from Meriden. Crews say it is now a recovery mission. That boy jumped into the Connecticut River to try and help his sister who was struggling in the water. She survived. News 8's Stephanie Simone tells us how. Troopers help a woman to an ambulance while men try to help search crews. Everyone looking for a brave 17-year-old who jumped in trying to help his 19-year-old sister. Police say she was struggling in the water after being swept off of this sandbar. Uh, probably from a wake from a passing by vessel and uh, was, went in over her head. She could not touch bottom. Officers say a good Samaritan in a boat rescued the sister and another family member, but the Meriden teen never surfaced. Dive teams, boats, and even a plane searched for hours. Nothing. It was very sad. It's a sad thing, yeah. It is. It come down here for you know, all of the beauty of this, of this meadow and then have that happen, it's just... As dive teams get their equipment ready for a second day of searching, police just told me this has now become a recovery mission. I believe uh, we had units out here until at least 11 or 12 last night is when the, uh, the search was called off. Crews came back out here around 9 this morning. Today they used sonar to look at the bottom of the Connecticut River. Boats and dive teams. Folks around Haddam Meadow State Park know just how misleading the river can be. The river doesn't look intimidating at all, but there is an undercurrent, and we know better than to go in the water. It gets deep fast, and the current is very quick around the island. And a lot of people come here picnicking and don't realize that. No, it's not a designated swim yard. We, obviously, we don't have lifeguards here. The teen was not in a life jacket, and police say as they continue to search for him, they'd also like to speak with those good Samaritans who rescued those other family members. In Haddam, Stephanie Simone, News 8.